But our next guest is a New York Times best-selling author, a former country music star who's just released a new children's book titled Up Toward the Light, which shares a message of hope for those who have faced grief or loss. Welcome to the studio. Good buddy, Granger Smith. So good to see you. Good to see you too. This is my first time interviewing you, not as a country artist, but as an author and a seminarian. I mean, boy, it is very, very busy. This book, of course, is so beautiful. And I gotta say, I love the way you make the analogy between this red oak of the leaves falling and the tree telling the boy in his own grief and his loss of his grandfather, his tears fall and mm. it is okay. Talk yeah. about this and putting this together. It's actually a true story. During a time of therapy after we lost our son, I, the therapist was asking me, well, what do you wanna be for your family? And I said, well, I wanna be a rock. And he said, and, and what does the rock lean on? Mm. when it needs somebody. And I said, okay. And he said, well, let me encourage you to think of yourself more as a tree. A tree could bend and lose limbs and leaves, and, but it also has roots that intertwine with others. And it, it's, it's still sturdy and it's still strong, but it, it, it could give way. And I thought, okay. And he said, I would like to give a challenge to you to go into the woods sometime and, and have a conversation with a tree and write it down. Mm. And as silly, as silly as it sounded to me, it was helpful that, to be able to actually sit down and go into the woods and, and write what the tree's perspective would be of me if I was grieving. Mm -hmm. And so in the scenario that when it actually happened to me and we'd lost my son, whose name is River, yes. I said, I only came here because of River. And the tree said, well, I'm only here because of River. And, I, and it was this idea that, well, but if we focus only down on the river or on the roots or on the soil that gives us nourishment, we're missing where the true growth comes from. And that is only reaching up toward the light. Mm, and I love that. And that analogy, of course, and that story in this book that the boy says, you are the tallest tree in this forest. And he said, I had to, I had to grow because the light makes me grow. The beautiful thing is that, you know, as people read through this book, knowing that the grandfather first nourished this tree as a mm. sapling. And I go, oh my God, that gave me goosebumps. I thought that what a beautiful story and what a, a, a circle moment for this little boy who lost his grandfather as he sits mm. there with his dog. It's really beautiful. The Thank illustration, you. by the way, really tells a beautiful story as well. I mean, it's beautifully illustrated. I cannot take any credit for that. She is amazing. Laura, we went through several illustrators and uh, there was just no one compared to her of the list that I saw. And I'm, I'm so grateful for her. We've become somewhat friends online. She's, <laughs> she's in England, but um, yeah, what a, great, what a great way to represent that story. I'm so happy with her. As I mentioned, a New York Times bestseller, of course, this was your memoir, your beautiful tribute to your son, River, just a, a beautiful book. And mm. uh, in the loss uh, of your own suffering and your own grief of you and your family, you have left the music business, and we've talked about this before, going into the ministry now and studying how is that going? I don't know the process of that. Sure, well, let me qualify that by saying, I didn't leave the music because of grief and loss. Mm. I really, I love music and I, I never got burned out and I loved touring and I loved making music, but through the process after we lost Riv mm -hmm. and the process of really dying to myself through that, uh, I learned that there was a message that is more important than music. And I got more joy from it, mm, delivering that message than I ever did a song. Yeah. And so that was the reason for the change. And, and now uh, I, I love sitting here with you and mm. not talking about a new album or, or a new song, instead talking about a hope that is within me. I love that too, by the way. That's really nice to be able to visit too. Like I said, a, just a whole different perspective. Mm. By the way, still have a hand or a foot or an ear in music because the host of After Midnight, which is, okay, course, yes. as music fans, <laughs> we love that, but I love that. I mean, and, and you're, you, you, hands down, one of the most entertaining guys that I've ever known. Mm. Of course, your alter ego and, and that you know life that you had, just so incredible. So it's mm. nice that you still have a hand in that and a voice in that. Just one of the most talented guys in the business. Oh, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Granger Smith, everybody, be sure to get the book of of course, Up Toward the Light, that is the name of it. Not just for children, this book is for everyone who is dealing with grief and loss. Great stuff. 